It was last week, Wednesday, the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Hospital Organizations paid the Guam Memorial Hospital an unexpected visit. And after spending two days assessing the operations and facilities, GMH maintains its accreditation. Administrator Ted Lewis. That is who Guam Memorial Hospital works with to um, uh, have evaluate our services and ensure that we're accredited on... Um, uh, their standards, and so um, they were. They paid us a visit, and um, were deemed to be in good and regular standing. Over the course of the two-day visit, the Joint Commission not only evaluated the services at the hospital, but also imparted some knowledge. It's also an educational process in which the staff learn uh, many new standards that are coming. They're also get surveyors' opinions on what they're seeing in the industry, how, how you can continually improve care. So it was a very positive experience for us. We learned a lot, and the surveyors left with suggestions and also with, with many compliments for what they saw as a, uh, a very studious and very dedicated group of caregivers that are continually improving the care um, for the residents of this island. And speaking of improvement, the Joint Commission, of course, did not leave without making a few suggestions. One particular area is uh, while we while we have our uh, uh, nurses, our, um, uh, we, we certainly provide a, uh, um, a uh, not only the minimum, but um, a very adequate level of staffing for, for our patient load, yet they made the observation that we, um, we, we need to get more nurses. Lewis says sometimes the nurses' hours are higher than normal. As a result, they will be stepping up recruitment efforts and hiring more specialty nurses. Lewis adds the surveyors did not leave without acknowledging the hospital's efforts. They uh, complimented our uh, credentialing process, our, um, the, the vast improvements we've had in uh, managing our our medical records with the physicians and and getting it's always a challenge to have the uh, medical record completed within a timely manner because it's very complex for the physician. He adds that vast improvement was also seen in infection control prevention and the overall attitude of the staff and physicians with regards to providing the best care for their patients. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.